And I'm like, no, no, I just wanted to tell you that I dropped it. It was me. It was all me. Roxy? Roxy? Hi, gorgeous. Mom, hi, gorgeous. Mama gonna be right back, okay? I gotta go to Natural Grocers to get my strawberries, asparagus, and my thyme. I'll be back, okay? Love you. Okay guys, so I am here in the parking lot of Natural Grocers and, oh shoot, I'm putting on this lip gloss and I gotta put a mask right on top of this. Dang, all right. Okay, well, what that means is while I'm in the store, I'm gonna be doing like this. Or, 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 or trying to keep the uh, my lips off of the mask but this is like my um, everyday look let me move you guys so you can see this is can y'all see there's natural grocers that's what it looks like guys that's what the logo looks like I love this place it's so cute I'm gonna get some footage of it when I go in here but anyway so this is just like my everyday look, guys, when I'm going out. I don't try to do, but for the most part, unless I'm like getting on like a mukbang or something like that with Jim, um, or like going out somewhere really fancy, I keep, I try to keep it very, very basic. So um, you all know I have to have my lip gloss everywhere I go. I, um, I, um, I have to, you know, you know, fill in some of my eyebrows and then um, I use a powder. I don't use liquid foundation. I never have. I've always, um, and as you can see, maybe need a little powder up again, right? So anyway, I've always used um, powder, foundation, um, ever since I've been wearing makeup, literally, since I was a teenager. I've always used Clinique, and it's like a pressed powder. And so... Um, I use Clinique pressed powder. So when I'm going out, my everyday is literally my pressed powder, um, a little bit of eyeliner on the top, a little bit of mascara in there. Uh, I'm sorry, a little bit. Um, it's a little bit of eyeshadow. And then, um, look like it was like a shadow. But anyway, and then some mascara. So my absolute must though, before I even go out the door, is to uh, powder, powder my face, mascara. I don't even all the time put on, um, I won't even most of the time even put on eyeshadow actually. I will just, uh, if I'm recording or something like that, I'll do it, but otherwise I'll just do powder, mascara, powder, mascara, uh, eyebrows, and my lip gloss, of course. Those are absolute must. I'll get them wherever I can, guys. So, I don't like them in the package like this. I don't care for these. But these, I like a lot. So I just get them in the can. If I can't get them fresh, I'll get them in the can like this. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay, I will. Then this happened, you guys. Area of water, I just fell and broke my bottles. Oh, so I was in there having myself a good little time, you guys. Look at this Las Vegas. Las Vegas! Vegas, baby. 
Vegas will burn your ass completely up, you guys. I'm not kidding. Don't come out here playing in Vegas. I know y'all like to come out here and be vacationing, having yourself a good time. Y'all will, will pass out. I'm not kidding. You will pass out messing around out here with this heat with Vegas. What's the temperature? 95 degrees. That's actually kind of cool. <laughs> but as you can see in my face, I'm still like sweaty, sweaty, sweaty. But anyway, I was having myself a blast in natural growth, sirs. Oh, getting all my good stuff. I'll do a haul when I get back. But I was doing all my good stuff, you guys. Come out here. And I dropped the bottles. I thank God. See, see how it works. See how it works. I was like, oh, let me get two cases of the Perrier water. Perrier. And um, I don't even need any water. I don't even need sparkling water. I got plenty of uh, Pellegrino at home. But I was like, oh, let me get this one. It's here. You can never have enough sparkling water. But uh, let me get this one. So then I was like, I got one case and then I went back and I was like oh, let me get two uh, then when I uh, oh and my favorite cashier was there checking me out I love that lady so much she brings me so much joy but anyway when I came out here to get my groceries and put them all back there and the, that's how they do them guys like they don't do bags and stuff they put your stuff in boxes and so anyway when I was unloading and getting the stuff in the car you guys uh, one of the uh, cases the four pack of the Perrier uh, dropped on the ground and broke just splattered so um, I went in there because you guys know I'm always I'm always telling you go out and about with a good positive happy mood just getting back from um, natural crossers <laughs> oh boy oh my god you guys it's it's very important to get out and about it's so funny how since like before Corona before CV okay before CV I was an extreme extreme homebody like I did not like going out at all I work from home I like throwing parties you come to my house all this kind of stuff I love 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 being at home right it seemed like after being I guess forced to be in the house it just made me want to be out and about even more like literally when I when I would see my contractors or you know just people like that that I hadn't seen in a long time I literally would be like oh my god and I, I like I like felt this need I've always kind of been a hugger but not with like strangers right but yet after the corona I just just like like people I hadn't seen in so long because we had been cooped up I just wanted to just like hug them I just so anyway, I say all that to say that since Rona, you guys, you girl, I find a reason. I try to find some reason every single day to get out the house. This was unheard of. Well, one of my regular stops that I make during the week and part of getting out is going to Natural Grocers. I told you guys I love, love, love that place. So anyway, I went there and I went to CVS. So let me show you guys what I got at uh, Natural Grocers. So I got my organic girl. These are the baby greens that I get from there. <laughs> Look at it guys, it says washed three times. Not one, not two, but three times. But y'all know I still rinse them off. I still just can't seem to just take them out and put them on the plate. I have to still rinse them off. Okay, so I got that. I had totally, I had totally ran out of strawberries, you guys. This is a sin. I, I know you guys see them on the mukbangs, but I eat that big salad like that, thus the leafy greens, every single day. If I go one or two days without eating my salad, I'm feeling some kind of way. I'm like, Jim, I, Jim might want to go out or something, and I'm like, I need my leafy green so it is it is muy importante so you know what everything that i do on a regular basis i need to make sure to know that same word in spanish and this is going to help me with my uh fluency in spanish but anyway i got some more strawberries not one but two 
because I use those strawberries every day. Not only do I use the strawberries, you guys, for that delicious salad that you guys see, I use the sal I use the I cut up strawberries, Gemini. That is literally like our everyday dessert. Either we're putting it um, with that chocolate syrup or we're putting it on top of that keto vanilla cheesecake we get from Freed's. So strawberries are a must, and I can't believe I totally ran out. This is my other boop 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 remember i told you guys i got two cases of this in uh the grocery store so this is the other case you remember the other case i broke in the parking lot that lady was so nice she was like no no you go get another case and i'm like no no i just wanted to tell you that i dropped it it was me it was all me i'm the one who broke all that green glass on your parking lot green grass green glass she was so nice i like that lady so much i need to get her name i said i know you're probably like this lady comes in here like all the time she was like we do see you a lot i said i think i only go about four or five days and then i'm back in here and then she was telling me what next i was saying it's so quiet and peaceful in here and so because it's like this little small little market whatever guys and i just love it it's so quiet and peaceful and she said and you came on a good day on sunday because did i say happy sunday fun day you guys oh my god happy sunday fun day happy sunday monday happy sunday fun day i was telling jim the other day i was like jim just break out in your cabbage patch <laughs> yes i told jim how to cabbage patch you guys so anyway um and then I had to get some asparagus. See, what is this? What is asparagus in Spanish? Why does my soul tell me that my spirit, my spirit tells me that asparagus in Spanish, in Espanol, is asparagus? Is asparagus asparagus in Spanish? Or something very, very similar. You know how there's like a lot of words, you guys, that are very similar. It, the English version and the Spanish version are very similar to each other, like uh, importante and important, um, comprehend and comprehendo, like stuff like that. Something tells me my spirit, something my spirit is telling me that asparagus in Spanish is very close to the way it is pronounced in English. I'm going to look that up. I might put it in the uh, I might put it in the description box below so you guys can learn your Spanish with me. You can learn your Espanol con me, conmigo, conmigo, conmigo. So I got me some asparagus. Bam! Two bundles. I love eating that as well. And here are the two bottles of the other case that I was able to salvage that did not crack all up. And this, I got my time. Bam! This I don't know if I told you guys, the time, the, the importance of the time, that's that delicious steak that I love making you guys, it has to have time. I'm gonna show you guys one of these days how I make my steak, but it has to have time on it. I didn't used to like time at all until I started making my steaks. Time is important. Bam! No, you guys, this is not alcohol. This is a brand, this must be pronounced Yang Yang Year Yang Year. I'm trying to make sure. To I think like double L's in Spanish is like a Y. I want to say Yang Year if I'm saying that right. And it says Source Sparkling Water. So I found this in Natural Grocer. So this will be my first time trying this today. So maybe I'll try it and uh, try it with you guys so you can see. So I got that water and then. I have tried this brand. You guys know I love my uh, bone broth. I have tried this brand, K Kettle, Kettle and Fire. I have tried this before. I did not like it, but I just got regular beef broth. Uh, but today I got a bone broth, but it's Chipotle beef, if you guys can see down there. And so I'm just gonna claim it. I'm gonna just say that this is gonna be a lot better. I'm not gonna say that I know that it's gonna be delicious, but I'm just gonna say it's gonna be a lot better. You guys know I love to have my broth. So I tried that, and then, you guys saw, got my oysters, hello! And then, not one, not two, but three. Three butters, you guys, three, three butters, nut butters, right? 
So you guys know that when I make my keto cookies, I, they need to be, for me on keto, they need to be all natural and no sugar added or very little sugar added. So this is a brand I've never had before. Ma, Maranatha, Maranatha peanut butter organic. This one's crunchy because I want to make me a crunchy, uh, all crunchy version. And then this one is creamy, Santa Cruz organic. It says no stir because in these natural butters, peanut butters, you guys, the oil kind of, because it's natural, kind of seeps to the top and you got to stir it and mix it back in. So this says no stir. So I'm going to see if that's the case where I don't have to mix it back in. But this is the one that I was really excited about because on those regular nut butters, you always guys always look at your ingredients on the back. This one says, that one, the ones that I have been using, for two tablespoons, total carbs is like five grams of total carbs for two tablespoons. Then you subtract out your fiber, and the fiber is usually three, so then that gives me two net carbs for two tablespoons. So that's one net carb for one tablespoon. And what is there, 16 tablespoons in a cup? Correct me if I'm wrong. I think there's 16 tablespoons in a cup. So then that's basically with my ingredients, my four ingredient recipe, that's a cup of Splenda, a cup of natural peanut butter, and uh, a teaspoon of vanilla extract and one egg. So, and I usually make sure to count them out to make at least 16 of those, um, of those cookies. And so it's like, basically they're so little, they're like, that's how I get to their one carb for one little bitty cookie. Now, if I make them bigger, then I just assumed, I just counted my head, that's probably two carbs for a bigger cookie. Just substitute the peanut butter for this almond butter, then that means that each little bitty cookie, if I get make 16 of them, will only be half a carb. Oh my God! I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven. I'm just gonna claim it. This is going to be delicious. It's going to be delicious. I'm going to claim this. Then Gary wanted me to stop at CVS and get him some gift cards for his gaming situation. And look at this, guys. Do your CVS uh, sell flowers? Every time I go in there, I have to get some flowers. I love having fresh flowers in the house at all times. Most of the time, Jim just buys them for me. But if Jim's not here and unable to get them, then I just like to get them for myself. I love having fresh flowers in the house.